Now before you get to work on this course, I'd like to just give you a quick overview of what you can expect. This is a course that assumes nothing about your previous programming experience. So if you're a complete beginner in programming, this is fine for you. But if you've some experience with other programming languages and maybe you need to revise some of the basics, that's fine too. We're going to start with really the very fundamental features of programming, things like variables, constants, functions and so on. And as the course progresses, we look into more and more complex aspects of programming. Now, we're going to be using the C-sharp language, which is one of the fundamental and one of the most important languages for programming Windows. You can follow this course using either a free or a commercial edition of Microsoft's Visual Studio. And I'll explain where you can get a free copy called C-sharp Express and what you need to do to start using it. I'll guide you step by step through developing a number of small and simple programs so that you'll gain a good understanding of the fundamentals of C Sharp and .NET. And towards the end of this course, I'll provide a more complicated program, a sort of a simple text-based exploring game, and that will let you play around as a way of deepening your understanding of the programming techniques taught in this course. C Sharp is one of the most important languages for programming Microsoft Windows applications. It makes use of the .NET framework, which is a collection of tools and code that assist in the creation of programs. While this course specifically teaches the c -sharp language, it also teaches programming in general. The principles and many of the coding techniques equally apply to other languages, such as Java and Objective-C. However, in this course, everything we program will be done in c -sharp. While the course begins at a simple level, it goes fairly deeply into c -sharp later on. I'll explain object orientation, how to save complex data to files on disk, how to do exception handling to deal with errors at runtime, how to create generic lists and dictionaries of objects, and much, much more. The core teaching in this course is done in the video lessons. All the code of the programs I use is provided in the code archive, ready for you to load into Visual Studio and use yourself. And there's also a course ebook that you can use to revise the topics discussed in the videos and to learn more about some of those subjects. So, if you're ready, let's get started.